we want to graph y equals sine x plus 2 cosine x. So remember, we talk about combining these. These are combining two different functions. So I have y equals sine of x, and then I'm also going to have y equals 2 cosine of x. So now what that means I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and graph these two functions, and then we can determine how we're going to find them added together. So you try that on your own, come back, and check and make sure your graphs look like mine. So now your graphs should resemble mine. I know they're not exactly perfect and they're not exactly the greatest looking in the world, but you get the idea. I've got the sine and then I've also got two cosine of x. So now how in the world are we going to find the sum? Well, it's really easy. What we're going to do is we're going to add the points that we found together in order to find our new function. So when we do that, I want you to try again on your own, check the table of values, and then we'll go proceed from there. So as I begin finding values, I noticed that the only thing that I could do to find a whole number was to use x0. So I need to know what I've learned about sine and cosine and adding those points together to find out what my graph's going to look like. So I know that it's going to intersect at 0, 2. So that's at the same place where 2 cosine x is at. So I know it's going to intersect right here. What I have to remember is what we've learned with our rules that I am actually going to be using the sine of x, which is the dark blue line. That's what it's actually going to be oscillating about. So if that's the case, it's going to resemble cosine, but it's going to be off from the cosine just a little bit. So what you want to do on that is you're going to have it come off a little bit and come back up. And same thing over here. It's going to be off just a little bit. It's going to come back up and come in front of it. So how do you find those points? Well, they aren't going to be perfect whole numbers or integers. They're actually going to have decimals and fractions. So what I recommend is you use a calculator to actually solve these, find the exact points so that when you do draw the final copy of your graph, you have those exact points.